Hello my dear friends I hope all of you are doing very well Now today we'll focus on types of SDLC models and the same are also called as systems development methodologies Now why these multiple SDLC models are required or needed this topic will be covered and its various types we will list today so keep watching the lecture till the end let's start what is the need of sdlc models or the various methodologies to develop the systems a wise man once said if you fail to plan you plan to fail it means if you have done a good planning in the beginning then you will never fail right it's very important to plan well before launching anything new this is very important from the point of view of any entrepreneur any businessman or anybody who is taking up any new project the system development life cycle provides the structure to the challenges which occur while transitioning from the starting to the end of your project without forgetting any step from starting to the end of any project you must not forget any step this is the importance of any sdlc this we have seen now the software development life cycle provides a common understanding of the system development process now the sdlc helps as a baseline it acts as a baseline to develop any new system and it gives you the common understanding of the system which is to be developed and how it is to be developed in both the ways basically when we have multiple methodologies available to develop the systems they actually guide the professionals through their particular project based work the idea is they have a one project which is to be completed and the professionals get the complete guidance that how they should work so that their project is goal oriented and they are able to complete the given task in the given time any good system developer must have enough knowledge on how to choose the sdlc model based on a particular project context and the business requirements so here when you are working as a system developer it is very very important to choose the sdlc model which is appropriate as per the particular project requirements its context and its business requirements three are the important parameters one is what is the project what is the context of your project and what all are the business requirements of a particular project and accordingly you need to choose the sdlc model therefore it is important to choose the right sdlc model according to the specific domain and requirements to the project to ensure its success why we have so much of focus on the sdlc model here that choosing the correct sdlc model is very very important as per the particular domain also because we need a ensured success because any system developer has a target to ensure its success now what are the different models which variants we have there are several variants of the sdlc known as models or methodologies models or methodologies they are more or less the same things so if the question comes you have to answer the same way these different models or methodologies are used by the various development teams around the world to actually develop the different projects or the different systems each one of them has its own set of advantages and disadvantages over the others one can be good comparative to others as per the requirements of your particular project and the specific domain and the business requirements so we'll study about this in detail in a separate video also that how to choose the 
appropriate SDLC model for a particular project and which all parameters you need to keep in mind while choosing any SDLC model for developing any particular project if you are working in a certain company for a certain domain or a certain topic specific. So the approach might differ from model to model. Each SDLC methodology has a goal of enabling the development team to deliver high quality softwares in the cost effective and quick manner. Now the approach might differ in the different models but all of them have a common goal. What is the goal? That the development team must be able to deliver the high quality systems or the high quality softwares which are cost effective and in a quick manner in the given time. So keep this thing in the mind the ultimate requirement of the SDLC model is to deliver the high quality softwares or the systems which are within the budget which can be made very quickly and within the given constraints also. Now let's give the glimpse to all the models or the system development methodologies. We have waterfall model, we have V-shaped model, then we have an evolutionary prototyping model, we have a spiral model, we have an iterative incremental model, we have an agile development. So we'll be talking about all these models in detail one by one and we'll be learning their advantages and disadvantages also in the coming up lecture. Our next topic will be waterfall model and the subsequent models one by one. So keep watching Simple Digital School. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay healthy.